Hey, good afternoon and welcome to another craft. Uh, today, what we're gonna make is a little dog puppet. So this is what the puppet will look like when you're done. And I'm gonna tell you what you need to make this craft and how to go ahead and make it. Okay, uh, the first thing you'll need is just a brown paper bag. And then you're gonna need scraps of paper, okay? Um, I chose brown, you can see brown, but you can choose black, you can do yellow, you can do white, whatever color you'd like your dog to be. So, first of all, what we're going to do, I have googly eyes here, but if you don't have those, you can draw your own eyes or you can cut out your own eyes. Um, here, I just drew them and cut them out, so I'm going to glue those on. Yes, very good. Glue, you want the flap to be in the front, okay? You'll see that when I glue on the tongue, but just make sure when you start gluing, the flap is in the front. So let me glue on both eyes. And you can, you know, if you want different kind of eyes, that's fine, you just cut them out. And then we're gonna glue his tongue. So we'll put a little glue there, and the tongue goes under the flap. So I'll show you. So his tongue is sticking out like that, okay? Then you wanna cut two ears, and like I said, your ears can be brown, they can be black, whatever color you choose. So let's glue on the ears. And those go on the side, I'll show you that. Okay, let me get them on. So here you have the eye, the ears, I'm sorry. <laughs> and next, we'll put on the feet. Those go on the bottom. So let's glue those. You just wanna cut two little feet like this. Okay, let's cut the, put those on. And then you just need, oh, did I forget the nose? Don't forget your nose. Let's glue the nose. Oops, I might have to move the nose up a little bit under the eye, that's okay. So here what he looks like so far. And then you wanna glue on your two paws. So those go, let's see where they go. Yeah, you can go down a little bit on the paws if you want. So let's glue those. That's your just first of all, you might want to cut out all your pieces and then glue them on. And last, you're gonna glue on the tail. Okay? So for the tail, you want to turn it around and glue it on the back. So then you just glue on the tail on the back. Okay? And then there you have your dog. So let's go through all the pieces that you need to complete your dog puppet. First of all, two eyes. Um, you can make your own or draw them on. A nose, a tongue. If you have a little piece of pink paper, if not, you could color one in. Your two ears, your two paws, two little feet, and his tail. So that's all the pieces you need for your dog. And then just let it dry. And when it dries, it will look something like this. Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to read, Can I Be Your Dog? It's written by Troy Cummings. And thank you to Random House for allowing us to read the book. So, Can I Be Your Dog? Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, 
we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Oh, he's not too happy. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfy. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Dear Fire Station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest, Arfy. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfy. Dear Mott, get lost. Oh, he's sad. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely, arfy. Oh, return to sender. Oh, arr, he's so sad. Oh. I'm very sad. There he is. Oh, a letter to Arfie. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. There she is. She's at the blue mailbox. <gasps> Oh, he finds her. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Wolf. Scritch, scratch. And that is the end. Thank you. That was a great story. And see you next time when we do our craft.